Hello lovelies! Summer has finally arrived and I don't know about you guys, but I am ready to celebrate. And to do that today, I am sharing three absolutely mouthwatering frozen margarita recipes that you guys are absolutely going to love. Now, traditionally, margaritas are made with alcohol, but all three of today's delicious recipes can also be made without the booze. So if you have little ones in your life, or if you're just someone who doesn't drink, then you can just as easily make these with no alcohol at all, and they will still be super yummy. But whether you decide to serve these as cocktails or mocktails, the first step when making any margarita is to rim your glass with some salt. This is an absolutely essential step, guys. Now to rim our glasses, it's really simple. I'm basically just going to take a little wedge of lime and I'm going to run it around the rim of my glass. Then I'm just going to flip my glass upside down and place it into a plate full of salt. You just wanna give it a quick little shake just to make sure that the entire rim is salted. Now that we've got all of our glasses rimmed with salt, it's time to blend up our first margarita, which is a classic margarita. Now, because we are making blended frosty margaritas, this recipe is all going to start with some ice. Just gonna get lots of ice right into my blender. To that, I am going to add some lime juice. It's really important when you are making margaritas to use freshly squeezed lime juice. You really want all of that amazing citrusy tart flavor coming through and fresh lime juice is the way to go to do that. Next, for some sweetness to offset all that sour lime juice, I am going to be adding some simple syrup. Now you guys have seen me make simple syrup on the channel before, it's really, really easy to do. You basically just combine one part water and one part sugar in a saucepan on the stove. And you stir that as you heat it, just until that sugar dissolves completely. It usually only takes about two or three minutes. At that point, what you end up with is this amazing liquid sweetener that is perfect for cold drinks like this. Now for the alcohol in this recipe, I am using a classic combination of tequila. I prefer silver tequila, but you could use gold if that's what you have on hand. You can decide how much or how little you wanna add. You also can leave the alcohol out of this recipe entirely if you want to, that is definitely up to you. And I'm also going to be adding a splash of triple sec or orange liqueur. It's got a really beautiful citrusy flavor, so complimentary with all of that fresh lime juice and that sweet simple syrup. And guys, that's really all it takes. We're just gonna turn our blender on and let it do its work. Oh my gosh, it's like a lime slushy. Look how yummy this looks, guys. Are you serious? And there you have it, lovelies. Frosted classic margaritas that are the perfect balance of sweet, sour, and salty. Enjoy. Now that we've got our classic margarita made, I wanna show you a couple tasty twists that I think you guys are going to adore. Starting with this ultra summery strawberry watermelon margarita. How fresh and delicious does that sound? Basically the perfect refreshing drink for a hot summer day. And it's all gonna start with some frozen watermelon chunks. So I just chopped up some watermelon, put it in the freezer on a baking sheet and I've got the chunks headed into my blender. I've also got some frozen strawberries here. Now I should also mention that watermelon margaritas are absolutely delicious and strawberry margaritas are absolutely delicious. So if you only have one ingredient or the other, you can totally do that. But if you wanna make these extra delicious, I highly recommend putting the two together and they make for a seriously magical drink. At this point, we're ready to add the rest of our classic ingredients. So I've got my lime juice headed in here, a nice splash of simple syrup. I've got my tequila as well as my triple sec headed in here. And then we are ready to blend all of this goodness up. Just get that lid on, press that button and watch the magic happen. Of course, when this is all blended up, that color is bright and vibrant and gorgeous, but I can assure you that no matter how beautiful this looks, it tastes twice as good. Now for my final margarita today, guys, I wanted to complement all of those sweet, sour, and salty flavors with a little bit of spice. So I am actually making a mango jalapeno margarita, and it's just one of those recipes you have to taste to believe. I'm getting started by adding some mango into my blender. I'm using frozen mango. 
And then I am using about a quarter of a jalapeno. It really depends on how spicy or not so spicy you want your drink to be. I'm gonna get that into my blender. I'm also going to add a little bit of ice to my blender. And then I'm going to get my classic ingredients in here, my lime juice, simple syrup, my tequila, as well as my triple sec or orange liqueur. And then I'll get my lid on my blender and blend this away until it is nice and smooth. Trust me guys, it is no accident that this gorgeous cocktail just happens to be the same color as the sunshine because you will want to be sitting in the sunshine while enjoying it. It really does have an amazing kick that I think you will be very, very pleased with. I hope you guys will celebrate summer's arrival by trying these three tasty drinks for yourselves. If you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo because you know how much I love seeing your kitchen creations. Remember, the full recipes are linked in the description box below. You can find them there. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.